Today we're using the Crucial 4TB 3500. Basically with this, we're going to convert the 1TB Rogue Ally X original storage space to a 4TB one. Now the fill up bit that we are using today is 00. zero. And we're just going to take off very carefully now the six screws on the back of the Rogue Ally X. After you've done that, you can use a pry tool to open it. I literally just used my fingernails and I was able to do it. I didn't make any damage either, so not bad at all. I definitely suggest to opening it to the right of the Ally X as you're looking at it because there is a cable that connects the buttons on the back of the uh, Rogue Ally X and you don't want to um, pull that out and break it. To take off the flex cable, it's just a little tab on top that you flip up and then you pull down the flex cable and that's it. Funny story, I didn't pull out the screws that I loosened. So basically when I put away the cover, all the screws fell out. From here, you have an option to take off the battery, um, disconnect it, I guess. Um, what I ended up doing is I just left it on because I heard online uh, some videos that I watched was uh, it, it's difficult to put it back. So all we're doing here is we're just unscrewing the SSD and we're just trying to push it and shimmy it out uh, from the cable. And basically from then we can replace it with a new one. I did take off the uh, original thermal shield and we're going to use that for the new SSD. So from here, it came with two thermal like sticker gray thing. I don't know what it's called. And basically I ended up uh, ruining the first one. So <laughs> this is my second one now so that we can install that uh, copper one. Once that's done, um, yeah, we're just trimming it back. Uh, we got it in the first place, put in the one screw. And then hopefully it turns on and I didn't fry the motherboard. And of course, don't forget to uh, reconnect the uh, buttons in the back. Now let's turn it on and it's not turning on. So what we need to do is let's try to charge it and see if that does anything. And let's go. I actually had a little heart attack there because I thought it was broken it wasn't starting but uh, I think the charger the charger did it awesome so now you're gonna start up to the BIOS we're gonna hit advanced settings and then from here on we're going to look for the Asus cloud recovery basically you're just gonna follow the instructions here it's gonna take a while because it's gonna download the software and then that's really it once the recovery is done, it's pretty much going to look like a brand new uh, Windows again and you're a happy camper. Just go through the whole setup once more and that's it. Pretty cool. Um, I recommend doing this um, right off the bat uh, because there is more complicated instructions if you do it where you already have a, an old Rogue Ally X with games in it. Um, right now, I haven't even used it yet, so right off the bat, I upgraded the 4 terabyte right away. And that's it. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope I was able to help you. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Rogue, Rogue Ally X. 
Um, let me know if you have one yourself and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.